Hi, my name is Norm Woodell, and I'm playing the character Donald in the uh, Chicago cast of Bailey Wick's Fucking Men. That's the name of the show. Beep. You can go back and put in your own sensor beep if you'd like to. Uh, so uh, Donald is a uh, closeted uh, homosexual who is a television talk show host who is uh, sort of like a, a Larry King or maybe, say, a Merv Griffin, although I'm not suggesting that Larry King is gay. He's had a lot of wives, though, hasn't he? Uh, and there was a rumor that uh, Merv Griffin was after he died. I think that came out, but these are all just... Uh, uh, reportedly, allegedly, kinds of things, because I don't, I don't want to get sued. So anyway, uh, Donald is a closeted gay man who has a television talk show host, and there's a sort of a Colin Farrell, Bruce Willis kind of action hero uh, movie star who um, has got caught having a sexual indiscretion on the set with a writer. My God. And he has kind of decided he wants to come on my show and announce to the world that he's gay. He's got a wife, I got a wife. Uh, and so I'm kind of trying to make the point to him that there are benefits, undeniable benefits to being closeted. You know, things like you get to keep your family. And so I, uh, Donald sort of grinds that ax about the benefits of being closeted, but also has some empathy with this, uh, with this, um, Brandon, uh, the uh, movie action hero guy. So uh, that's what kind of happens. And then you'd be surprised to see who I end up with in the next scene, for God's sake. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I have to say that the uh, other actors in the show are incredible. It's a very young cast of men. I'm the oldest guy in the cast, and uh, I was delighted to find out that they're pretty respectful of the old man. So uh, that's enjoyable. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun doing this show. Good looking group of guys. You'll enjoy that. Um, and I'm impressed with the director Tom's approach based on what he's told us in earlier discussions about how they're going to put the play together. It's sort of an art nouveau kind of feel. It's not going to be played just for the slapstick comedy aspect of it. it, it there's a lot of comedic moments in here, by the way. Uh, but it's going to be, he suggests that the audience is going to be almost like voyeurs who get to see inside these characters, so we won't be pushing out a whole bunch of things for you to swallow all at once. Oh, I shouldn't have said that, for God's sake, in a gay play. But anyway, uh, it, it's about us letting you into the lives of these people, and uh, so there's sort of a serious silver thread that goes all the way through it that takes you inside. Uh, for, uh, for one example is how painful can it be to be a closeted uh, gay man in the... Uh, in the year 2010. Uh, yeah, I think this is, uh, someone asked me about cutting edge. A, it is a pretty cutting edge kind of thing in that it's, it's not going to be a uh, typical stage production that just puts a, bunch, puts a bunch of stuff out and really kind of invites people into these people's lives. There's a lot more intimacy in this play than you might find in most other plays. Um, my experience with Bailiwick, they ask me about, has been great. I've never worked with them before, and I find them very respectful of actors. Uh, the assignment that we've been given from the organization is to have fun, be respectful of other actors, but mostly just uh, have a lot of fun. And I think this is their, their launching pad for the new Bailiwick Chicago, and it, it's great to be a part of that. Oh, and it's also... It's wonderful to be a part of something that's still in the uh, preliminary stages of being created. The writer will actually be here the week of previews, uh, rewriting and giving us lines that might better fit the uh, nature of our characters. And um, we'll be having some input into that. And so it's kind of, it's really like wonderful to, to be involved at that level with the creative process and to be something that's a, that's a part of something that's, that's giving birth and uh, this will be the first time that the writer has been this involved with this production, even though it was put up in two previous occasions, I think in London and in Los Angeles. Uh, the advice I would give myself for opening night, uh, take a deep breath, uh, walk out onto the stage, and uh, do your best to make the character feel alive and in the moment and present. So. 
my name is Norm Woodell. I'm playing Donald. And thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you opening night at the theater building in Chicago. Fucking man. <laughs>